Hi everybody, welcome back to Farm Boys Garage. Today we're looking at a 1993 Chevy Silverado and we're going to talk about uh, DTC code 21 throttle position sensor circuit signal voltage high. So uh, the throttle position sensor provides a voltage signal that changes relative to the throttle blade angle. Signal voltage will vary from about 0.5 volts at idle to about 4 volts at wide open throttle. The throttle position signal is one of the most important inputs used by the PCM for fuel control and for most of the PCM controlled outputs. So first we've got to locate the TPS which is going to be located under the air cleaner. So let's take that off now. Okay with the air cleaner removed we can see the throttle position sensor sitting right down here at the bottom where this plug connects. So right down here, it goes around the shaft of the butterfly. We won't unplug it. And there's three wires connecting this. And there's two bolts that bolt it to the bottom of the throttle body. So the three wires, you're going to have a gray, a dark blue, and a black going to the throttle position sensor. Coming from, and now all three come from the PCM. The gray wire is the five volt reference line. The, blue, the dark blue wire is the throttle position sensor signal, so that's going back to the PCM. And the black wire is a sensor ground inside the PCM. So what will set this code? So it will set if the engine is running, the throttle position sensor signal voltage is greater than or equal to 4.9 volts at wide open throttle. All conditions met for four seconds. So all three of those have to be met. Uh, with the throttle closed, the TP signal should read less than 1.25 volts. Uh, with the throttle position sensor disconnected, the TP signal voltage should go low if the PCM and wiring are okay. Probing circuit 452, uh, which is the sensor ground, the, the black wire is 452, so we're going to probe the ground. Probing circuit 452 with a test light checks the 5 volt return circuit. Alright, so if you had a scan tool, it would be really helpful here. Because what we what it should read throttle position, uh, the scan tool actually reads throttle position since voltage that the PCM's getting. And it should read about a half volt to 1.25 volts with the throttle closed and ignition on or at idle. Voltage should increase at a steady rate as throttle is moved towards wide open throttle. I guess you could back probe the uh, dark blue wire, and you should read this voltage. Uh, so we would back probe into this wire right here, this blue wire. You got a gray wire, that's a 5 volt reference, and the black wire is on the other side here, you can't see it. So like I said, it should be below 1.25 volts at idle and over 4 volts at wide open throttle. All right, so. You're going to start with the throttle close. You want to see if, if you do not want to see a voltage over 1.25 volts. If you do, you're going to disconnect the sensor. Scan tool should display throttle position signal below 0.2 volts or 200 millivolts. If it does, you're going to probe the sensor ground with a test light connect to battery voltage. If the test light lights, then you got a faulty connection or sensor. If it doesn't light, then you got an open sensor ground circuit or faulty PCM. So if you come up here and when you disconnect signal voltage below 0.2 volts, no, then you've, uh, your circuit 417, which is the dark blue wire signal, uh, signal wire, sensor signal wire, is shorted to voltage or you have a faulty PCM. So 
pretty simple. Uh, this one works. I don't really want to have to go through all the back probing and everything, but uh, just to get this video up, show you where to look. So you just back probe this dark blue with, with the throttle closed. You should read less than 1.25 volts. So basically we back probe the dark blue. If you don't have the scan tool, you turn the ignition on. It should read less than 1.25 volts. If it does, <clears throat> if it doesn't, unplug the the sensor we're going to read again on the uh, signal sensor wire the dark blue wire should read less than 0.2 volts or 200 millivolts if it does then you want to probe the gray wire with uh, a test light connect to battery positive if it should light if it does light then you have a faulty connection or sensor if it doesn't light then you have an open sensor ground circuit or a faulty PCM. So pretty simple checks here. Uh, and I hope this helps y'all out. And stay tuned for more. Thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe, chat. Okay.